Matt, we don't just let any player on this show, just the real special ones here. So thanks for joining us. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that intro. Thank you very much. <laughs> and thanks to JB, who does all our player bookings now. <laughs> How are things going? Uh, things are good. Things are good. Just got home from practice not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Got got the Leafs tomorrow night. Uh, we appreciate your time. We know it's uh, it's precious these days, especially when you're in a, a dog fight here uh, coming down the stretch. Yeah, well, yeah, I just got back from the West Coast, so uh, you know we, we did what we needed to do out there, and uh, obviously got a tough one tomorrow against uh, your hometown Leafs. So um, just got to keep finding ways to you know collect points, get wins, and hopefully find our way into the into the dance. Yeah, Matt, where are you guys at right now um, coming off that trip? A couple of wins, um, obviously, without uh, um, Barzal right now. How are you guys adjusting to that and uh, finding your way through? Uh, we've adjusted pretty well. Uh, we, we actually had a little bit of a tough stretch there. We, we lost Barzi, uh, lost Pajot, uh had Clutter Buckeye lineup, had a, you know, a good chunk of our regulars out, but uh, guys had stepped up in uh, different roles and... Um, you know, found ways. Obviously, the addition of uh, Horvat and Engvall uh, has, has paid dividends for us. Um, Horvy's been um, playing in you know really all different situations and taking more draws than I've ever seen a centerman take. So um, you know, he, he's he's done what he's needed to do for us, and I think everyone stepped up to give us a chance and now we're starting to see uh see some of our regulars filter back in the lineup here and we're starting to get healthy again but um you know we're taking it one day at a time and just like i said trying to find ways to to pick up points win hockey games because uh it's a as you guys know it's a tight race in the east at one point there you joined i believe horvat on the top line did you not you were playing i'm looking at your time on ice playing 18 minutes 17 minutes here and there How, what was that like for you is that just you going into lou's office and saying wake up <laughs> no not quite that i think i think it's you guys know lou is more of a know who you are do your job doesn't matter where you're playing um but no, it was it was great like i said i it wasn't just myself i think it was uh everybody who um, we were playing, you know, pretty shorthanded. Um, and even the young guys that got called up in, in the minutes that they played, uh, minimum minutes, did a great job. And then, um, you know, some of the veteran guys that were put in different roles. I mean, for myself, I was playing penalty kill, uh, jumped up there for, for a few games and played with them. And, uh, you know, we was just finding ways to um, be impactful, stay, be effective. And um, I, I think... Really, it was up and down our lineup, guys, just finding ways to, to win games. And like I said, we've gotten Peugeot back now. And we've gotten a few guys back healthy and um, a lot more depth uh, with our forward group now than a few weeks ago. And if you have to, you, you can rely on some good goaltending. Uh, Sorokin certainly put, him in, uh, put himself into a conversation amongst the better goalies in the National Hockey League. Just talk about him and, and, and the levels that he can get to and, and maybe – be the difference whether or not you guys uh you know not only get in but make some noise as well yeah he's uh special man you watch him every single day and uh uh one the, the more he learns language uh you know the the chattier he gets in the locker room he's got a great personality uh, but on the ice i mean um he he's phenomenal he every, every night seems like he makes incredible saves for us uh, at the right times and um, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to have two, you know, very, very good goaltenders, obviously having Varlamov uh, in there as well. And, uh, you know, every game we go into, we feel like we can win and that they'll be back there and make the saves for us when we need them. And um, to, to watch Ilya from, he came over and joined us in the bubble where he didn't speak the language at all, uh, just to watch him over the last few years kind of blossom and to know what you're seeing now. Um Start, or sky's the limit for this guy, man. He he is uh, as good as I've ever seen, and one of the fastest. Like I said, just unbelievable personality on him as well. Um, you know, obligatory question because we're in Toronto. Pierre Engvall went there at the deadline. How has he been used? <laughs> How is he fitting in? We we checked his stats for the show, and I see he's putting up some numbers. How's it going with Pierre Engvall? And, and can you beat him in a race in practice? 
<laughs> no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, you know, size, size and speed is a combination, as you guys know, that, um, you know, isn't, isn't easy to find. So, uh, you know, he's a big body that skates extremely well. And um, I think the first two games for him, um, he, you know, was coming into a brand new system, totally different, um, you know, environment. And, and then since then, um, he's kind of found a home on, on a wing with Nelson and uh, Paul Mary. And um, he's uh, throughout the whole West coast trip has, has been uh, you know, a big factor as to why we um, you know, came away with a couple wins there and he's producing and um, you know, he's been a huge addition for us. Um, you know, obviously didn't know him that well. We, we had a camp together, but uh, didn't know him that well in Toronto. But uh you know, when we played against him, obviously knew about his speed. It's always talked about, um, but, you know, he's a smart player. He, he, if you know Lou and you know our coaching staff, they, they like details and doing things right all the time, and uh, he, he does that. So he's fitting uh, great for us, and uh, we're lucky to have him. 